don't get me wrong, I love bass boats, but half of me kind of wants to buy a pontoon. And then I want to build a grill on it and then put up big flags and then sell hot dogs. I feel like it'd be a great place to capture content while making money. Comment your thoughts below. Today is going to be a very relaxed, chill video and we are hanging out at one of my favorite places in the whole world in Toon Marine. And the cool thing is, is there's some additions that they've done this year. Uh, so the place doesn't even look the same as it did last year. There's this giant new showroom that they have and they've got a bunch of demo boats here. They've got new boats in here. They've got used boats in here. It's massive. You could, you could really, it's like an indoor field house. You could play a game of football in here. Look at this. This is a little bit smaller blue version of the Sexy Vexy. This is tight. This is an AVX 1880. I have the AVX 1980. But it's pert near the same boat, a lot of the same layout. Oh. This is really mean looking color here. Same thing, this is the 1880, but this is like a whole silver stock version. I like it's kind of like a gray steel. I like that. This is the VX21. <laughs> All white. This is probably the meanest looking bass boat. This is an absolute war horse. Full disclosure, the reason I'm at Intune today is not because I have any boating issues, not because anything broke, not because anything was wrong with Sexy Vexy. I'm literally coming up here today just to hang out and kind of say thank you to all the amazing people that work here. And the best way I know how to do that is bring pizza and pop. So I didn't show it on camera, but before I came in here with my camera, I dropped off like four Casey's pizzas and a bunch of pop in kind of their break room area. And hopefully some of the guys in the back, the mechanics get some, some of the sales people get some. It's just, I feel like if you want to say thank you and enter a place, what better way to do it than bring pizza? So I know everything Intune Marine does for myself and my buddies in this channel. Pizza does not make up for that, but uh, it's at least it's at least me saying thanks. And pizza's awesome. Employees only beyond this point. Ah. I'm shaking out here. So outside here is where the magic actually happens. This is where the real men work. When stuff breaks or things go wrong, these guys clean up the mess. So not only is their showroom really big, but like they extended, I think, their whole shop. So now they basically have two shops where they work on boats. This is one section of it here. And then I'm pretty sure this is new here. And that goes out front there. Those guys are working on boats out there. It's, this place is incredible. It's big, like big, big. All right, I'm putting you guys on the spot even though you're busy. Okay. What's, what's one horror story from working here as a mechanic? And what's like a funny story? Even if it, they could just be the same thing. What's like one unique boat story? Like you ever found a dang raccoon in somebody's boat or? Uh, never physically had a boat that's had a raccoon in it, but there was somebody's boat that got chewed up by a raccoon, like all the seats and everything. Any odd or crazy story that's happened here? Uh, what are you like? What are you looking for? Here? Like, have, like, an, like an like an emu in the parking lot? Well, the neighbor's emus got out. We had an emu wander, wandering around the shop. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good story. I like that. Anything odd? Any customers bringing anything weird in their boats? I had a yak one time. A yak walking down the driveway. The neighbors had them and they just got out. <laughs> They'd run down Kyle's driveway. Come on. That's the emu messing with Frank. <laughs> That's it in the shop. Yeah. <laughs> was it mean? No. It was just chilling. I was winterizing a ski boat one time and it had like a little hatch in the back where people probably put their skis or whatnot. And one of the other guys was like, 
snooping around because I, I think I was looking for the keys. I couldn't find yeah. the keys and he opened it up and he's like, there's a cat in here <laughs> and he closed it and I'm like, no way. Was it like a stray, stray looking cat or just looked like he'd just been living in the I in opened the it up. There's a cat in there. And then we pulled a prank on it, uh, on someone with the cat. Like, yeah. <laughs> said, hey, can you look back there for something? Open it up, there's a cat. Got scared, whatever. But uh, no, it was just uh, the people who owned it, their, their little daughter's cat. And they couldn't find it for like a couple of days. So then we called them and they're like, oh my gosh, thank you. Are you missing a cat? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mrs. Fluffles is in her freaking boat. Yeah, it was definitely like a domesticated cat, but it, it found its way in there like through the side compartment, but then <laughs> couldn't figure out how to get back out. What's an odd story that you remember? All the corn in the motor. What? <laughs> <laughs> I would ask them probably, but they, there was like, it just kept coming corn out of a motor. <laughs> like a boat motor. You just started the motor and there was just corn. Out of an outboard motor. They were doing some work on it because it came and it wasn't <laughs> running well and it's just like corn and more corn and more corn. That's that's honestly what I love the most is the behind the scenes stories. These guys work on so many boats, new ones, used ones, and nobody ever gets to hear about the crazy stories like corn flying out of a boat engine or an emu that walks across the street from the neighbor's yard or farm. Like those, those are the behind the scenes stories that's that's gold. That's gold in my book. So right now I'm in like the front part of their boat yard. They've got a huge boat yard. I think they store a bunch of boats here. Like they winterize boats, obviously. And besides that, if they're doing maintenance on boats or they have different boats for sale, they've got a whole front yard and a side yard. And it's just, like I said before, this is a freaking complex, but um, yeah, I didn't want to talk too loud in there because those guys are working and, and they're busy, but you guys have seen the Sexy Vexy all year long and the Sexy Vexy is pretty heavily rigged. Like there's a lot going on. There's two units up front, two units by the dash. There's Raptors, there's Raptor pumps. What these guys did to rig that boat fully out is so beyond me, it's incredible. That's why they're the pros. That's why they're the guys. That's why they're the professionals. These guys are masters at not only fixing boats if there's problems, but rigging new and used boats. So I'll actually run some cool footage I took this spring when I drove up here and they were rigging up the Vexus and it's, it's impressive, but it was cool to see it from kind of a, a bare bones boat right off the truck to them fully rigging it. So yeah, here's some of that footage. It's impressive, it's extremely impressive. It's really cool to watch professionals at work. Um, these guys, obviously they've been to schooling for this, they've won a ton of awards for this, they have a whole award wall over there, but it's just really cool to watch professionals dive in and take full control and rig up a full boat or work on those engines when I have none of those skill sets. I just, I have a great appreciation for it and I can't say thank you to those guys enough. Those guys are truly the unsung heroes of Intune Marine and boat mechanics in general are the unsung heroes of just kind of the whole marine industry because those are the guys that fix the problems when things go bad and those are the guys that rig them all up so it all runs right. So yeah, Intune Marine Mechanics, thank you. Thanks again for beef sick. You betcha. Thank you, see you guys. Yeah. Till the next time. Till the next time. I don't know if we're going today. I know. How was the pizza? It was excellent. Did you have Canadian bacon, pepperoni? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> the wild stories were good. The pizza was good. And just kind of hanging out with some of the employees that are now my really good friends um, is always a pleasure. So, yeah, I know. I don't know what you guys have all seen on camera, but every time I come here, I feel like I'm not going to the place where I buy boats or get my boats fixed or winterized or anything like that. I feel like I'm just kind of hanging out here and it's really it's really turned into an awesome atmosphere here at Intune. So I can't thank them enough. Intune Marine, thank you so much. And if you guys are ever in the Richmond, Minnesota area, swing on down, check out their showroom, come on in. And if you want anybody to work on your boat or if you want to order a boat from anybody, do it through these guys. They're really knowledgeable, family-owned business, and uh, yeah, it's awesome. So, in tune, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Way, oh my pretty babe, something ain't right. Got to find a way.
to move ahead. Move ahead.